Mother and her newborn are still recovering tonight. She was shot less than a week ago and then was forced into labor. Eyewitness News reporter Brianna Harper shows us how the community is stepping up to help that new family out. While Alani continues to recover in the ICU, her mother is strong enough to return to work here at the Vine UMC daycare. She tells me work has always brought her joy, but now is a pleasant distraction from this life changing tragedy. The drive by shooting that changed so many lives in a flash. The victim, 19 year old Alani Blake, who was pregnant at the time, became a mother nearly 12 weeks sooner than expected. In an emergency C section, she prematurely delivered her baby girl, Sakani, who weighed only two pounds and seven ounces at birth. All this while Alani was also fighting for her own life. And she will need time to heal and recover and regain her own strength. Mom and baby are both still in intensive care. We're told Alani has had several surgeries and will have to learn to walk again. While police are still searching for the gunman who shot Alani on Beatty's Ford Road last weekend, she must now prepare for motherhood alongside piling medical bills. Alani's mother, Carlista, tells me she already works three jobs to help support her family. One of those jobs here at the Vine UMC daycare. Parents say Carlista has been a caretaker for so many families for so many years. Now they wanted the chance to care for her. That consistency and stability and love that she has given to me and my children is irreplaceable. And that is what I want to give back to her. Parents at the daycare created this GoFundMe page. The hope is to raise money that will help the family afford in-home care on top of the everyday cost of a newborn. Going through the fear of losing your grandkids and your child all in one moment of senseless violence. If you take a look at this marquee, is an open invitation to this Sunday sermon where the pastor will be preaching about the troubles of gun violence. Back to you. If you'd like to donate to the GoFundMe site, we have a link at our WSOC app. Just click on this story.